The Yobe State Government has set up a 24-man committee on food security to tackle scarcity and ameliorate the hardship facing citizens. For the committee is saddled with the responsibility of halting the export of grains to foreign countries and addressing the problem of hoarding of essential commodities in the state. Well, in the face of this, the prices of grains have reduced in the state. Well, let's share the story by Michael Lashoma with you. The constant increase in food prices, not just in Yobe State, but across Nigeria, is a source of concern for Nigerians. Yobe State's government has taken steps to reduce hardship on its citizens by putting punitive measures in place to checkmate hoarding and bulk purchase of food items. The actions taken by Governor May Malabuni to cushion the sufferings of the people is gradually yielding results. Uh, with regards to hoarding and with regards to bulk purchases, uh, so that uh, individuals with the intention to cause artificial scarcity do not use Yobe's grain markets to buy up these commodities, mop up these commodities and hoard them uh, with the intention to cause artificial scarcity and therefore unnecessary uh, rise in the prices of these uh, commodities. And to the glory of Almighty Allah, uh, with the support of the security agencies, uh, prices of these commodities, these grains are coming down gradually across your best state. To confirm what the information commissioner told newsmen, TVC New visited Katarko Market to confirm the prices of food items. 9,000. Up to now, 43,000. Because first time we are buying this type, 48, 49,000. We get one that we are buying it, 50,000 now. But especially like these two weeks now, we thank God things come down. With the buy of 42, 43, 43,500 naira. From observation, the artificial food scarcity is gradually fading while locals at the grassroots are commending the efforts of Brunei-led administration for ameliorating their sufferings. The 25-man committee set up by the state government has put monetary mechanism in place to arrest any marketer who flaunt government directive. Michael Oshoma, TVC News, Damato United States. Well, now, BKO, this might be a same a laudable, you know, exercise on the part of the government and the people finally having a relief. But it's one thing to see a drop in price. It's another thing to ensure it is sustained. What do you make of this and how do you think this can be done? First, the government has taken steps to ensure that life becomes difficult for those who have made a habit of sabotaging government's efforts by buying up grains, you know, in large quantity, only to go and hoard it or send it across the border. So I've said before that some of this, um, <clears throat> the Nigerians are their own worst enemies. It is clear that as efforts have been made to ease the pains on our people, some people have made up their minds to profit from the pains of other people. That's what we are seeing. In Gombe State, the rice farmers blamed this um, uh, extremely high price of uh, rice on uh, those coming to buy paddy in large quantities, only to go and hold. And you can see in states where these steps have been taken, mm -hmm. prices are going down. We reported um, prices going down in Kano. The correspondent went into the market and spoke with people. Spoke with the people selling those grains and they said, look, uh, these prices are going down. It may not be going down um, substantially. But you can't deny that prices are beginning to go down. Now, the naysayers, those who are always excited about negativity, about negative news, they will say, no, it's a lie. Did they lie? I, point, I told someone, I said, okay, the, the, um, the heads up to look at this matter was a story by Daily Trust, which without a shadow of a doubt is one of the best newspapers in our country. Daily Trust is 
a newspaper that covers the north extensively. You know? So I said, go and read what Daily Trust uh, 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 wrote. And Daily Trust surveyed <clears throat> some markets in northern Nigeria and reported that the prices of grains had begun to go down. Mm. So it's not Jide who sat in Lagos and was simply saying it. No matter how bitter you get about positive news from our country, the truth remains the truth. Now look at this is Yubi. And the report we are getting is that because of the steps that government took, they are blocking orders. Those who hold these commodities, they are going after them. Mm -hmm. In Kano, they are going after hoarders. So they are forced to release the grains that they are st uh, stored in their warehouses. So naturally, it will go down. Look at Kano, I mean, Kwara, we were talking about Kwara here, yeah, I think, two days ago. And the people are reporting that because government released some palliative grains, especially maize, mm. to the people, it has brought down the price of maize. That's, that's Kwara. We can only talk about the places um, where we have evidence <laughs> that these things have taken place. Right. This pain on Nigerians will certainly not uh, last forever. There are people who wish that this pain should go on so that they can say, oh, I told you so. This is not the season for that. And people wish evil against their country. They must realize that even their own members of their families will reap from the evil. If this mm. is not the time for it. Mm. Let's always think of the very vulnerable in our societies. Those are the people that we have to account for. Right. We have to take good care of them. We have to ensure that they do not suffer. Right. The religions, the major religions of the world, preach empathy for the poor. It just happens that in our country, people claim that they are good Christians, they are good Muslims, but they do not practice the tenets of those major religions. Mm. They are happy to see people suffer, they can't show mercy. They have millions of naira, they can't spare money because they believe that even, even in heaven they will need the money. It's, it, is, <laughs> it is foolish to think in this manner. When you go to heaven, you are going naked the way you came. Mm. And no one has been there before to come and report to us whether they spend naira or dollars there. So monies that we are piling up as if we have two lifetimes to spend uh, them. We should, we should engage our brains mm -hmm. All right. stop doing this. Indeed, I can imagine how it can be painful when discussing this matter whenever you have to give your thoughts on this. But, uh, Alainka, uh, you've seen the approach adopted by the state government to you know, assist the masses so they can have access to these grains. Would you suggest that this is an approach or an innovation that other states in the country should adopt? Or what other innovations do you think that should be looked into so that people can have access to common grains like rice, for instance, which is gradually getting out of reach of the common man? Well, okay, maybe first of all, let me say that uh, the condition in the country is not a laughable thing, and mm. it has made uh, BKO to become a pastor and sermonizing. <laughs> Okay, now back to serious matter. The, my worry is not for the immediate. Right. Because what we are doing now, yes, set up committee, do that, fine. But we must also think of what will happen in future. When I say in future, in the few, in few months down the road, the rains are coming gradually. What we are having now are from what the harvest we've had. We need to make security paramount so that people can go back to the farms. Right. Because the issue of insecurity is one of the fundamental problems that have faced our production in the agri sector. And then, talking about other states, what the Yobe State Governor has done is very laudable, and I think it is something that other states must learn from. How do we begin to make life easy for people? How do we try and make uh, commodities available to people? For instance, in Lagos, I know that uh, the Nigeria Custom started a program 
selling uh, seeds, dries, and all that. However, Nigerians, in their impatience and in the rude manner we all behave, whether in traffic, in school, or wherever, the rule says, come with your name number and cash. Then, line up. But people invaded the place. You come there at 10 o'clock. You want to leave, go before the man that has been there at 7 a.m. and so on. So we, al we also must learn to uh, obey rules. Because if people had lined up, as the custom of authorities have said, and are there orderly, everyone will get. But in a situation where people get there, everybody wants to go in at the same time, it will be lawless. And unfortunately, I think they said about seven people have died there. Yeah. So, although people have started blaming custom that that's not how to do it, but the question is, how do you want them to do it? Because in all honesty, I agree that things are hard. Mm. But in, in, even in that hard times, we must always be ready to obey the mm. law and be very orderly. Because if people were orderly, those five lives would not have been lost. And in fact, those who have spent three hours there, if things were orderly, maybe in five minutes, ten minutes, everybody will go. Because if you line up, 10,000, how many, no. how long does it take to count it, then give you your bag and you walk out. But we always want to cut corners. And that is the problem we are having. So for other state governments, a lesson has been learned uh, from uh, Gobe State. I mean, and the, the good thing about this kind of thing is that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. A model has been uh, set. All you need to do is to look at it and perfect it. Mm. And for instance, in Lagos State, I see that they are trying to build all these uh, markets and so on. It's a, it's a worthy thing to, be, to, to do. The important thing is that it must be hastened up, and then the source from which we get those things, we should not neglect that. As I said earlier, the rains are coming. What security measures are we putting in place so that farmers can go back to their farms? They won't be faced by uh, kidnappers. They, they, they won't be faced by herders who will bring their cattle into their farms and all that. So those are things that need to be done right. for us to have a better uh, harvest and a, for the prices of things to come down. Indeed.